All right, let's see if those 143 steps were worth it. Getting up to the lookout, it is 2.7 miles, and that's an out and back. And the trail is pretty moderate at 869 feet of elevation change. But the stairs, that is extreme. That is, <laughs> that is way more challenging. It's 143 steps from the bottom to the top, and the entire time our heart is pumping because it's challenging and it's pretty scary. So let's go and take you over to the lookout. Welcome to the Devil's Head Fire Lookout. This active lookout sits at 9,748 feet. This lookout is the first to spot three to seven fires per season. But that's not all. There's tons of cool history about it that we're gonna tell you as we walk around. This structure was built in 1912 and reconstructed in 1951. 
And the people that staff this tower actually just live at the bottom of the stairs. They come up here and every 15 minutes they look out to see if they can find a fire. This fire lookout was placed in the National Historical Register back in 1991. This is one of the most popular hikes in the Front Range and back in 2020 they had over 600 visitors in just a single day. What makes this place really unique aside from the fact that it's a fire lookout is that you have 360 degree views of the area. Behind me is Pikes Peak. To the west we have the Rockies. To the east on a very clear day you can see as far as Kansas. To the north you can see Denver and beyond. Currently Ashley and Tracy staff this location with two working cats. They've got Fiona and Fjord. Prior to them was Billy and Margaret, who worked for the National Forest Service for 35 years, and he retired when he was 87 years old. So because airplanes and drones are a much more faster and efficient way to spot fires, a lot of these fire lookouts are being phased out because the materials have to be carried either by foot, horse, or a much more expensive option, helicopter. So for example, in 2010, Chimney Rock Lookout was phased out. Those 143 steps were totally worth it. Just so you know, dogs are allowed on this trail on leash, but they're not allowed on the steps in the lookout. The last thing, because this trail has gotten so crowded over the years, they're thinking about either doing a reservation system or closing it out to the public because the fire lookout rangers actually can't do their job properly. We hope that you enjoyed this video. Please click that like and subscribe, and we'll catch you on the next one. Bye. Bye.